everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be making over my tear tray for halloween and adding some little halloween goodies to my little mini coffee bar so if you are excited to see what i do in my tear tray make sure you keep watching also don't forget to comment like subscribe turn on the little notification bell and have a good day and let's get on okay to the guys video. so first i'm going to start by hanging up this little boo sign so this boo sign was a little DIY and I will be giving you an overview once I am done. So this is a little DIY I made and I am just gonna simply hang it right there. And this is what it looks like. So let's do my tear tray. So this tear tray is from Hobby Lobby and I purchased this about a year ago. And this is my favorite go-to tear tray to use because it's small, it's petite and it's super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I did this little DIY book, and as you can see, the little hat has fallen off, but it's okay. So I did this little DIY book. I'm gonna link the channel down below, not the channel, the video. <laughs> I'm gonna link the video down below. It's Monday, guys, I need to wake up. <laughs> and um, so you can go and see it if you would like to see it. So I'm simply gonna put it right there. And then, of course, being that this is a DIY Hocus Pocus, I'm gonna add my Ray Dunn Hocus Pocus mug on top, just like that. And then I'm gonna lean my little hat on there. And then I got these, these are from Target Dollar Spot last year. And I'm gonna set them on top, just like that, because I'm gonna prop something up on top. And that is gonna be my little witch's hat. This little witch hat is from Target Dollar Spot last year as well. And it was $1. And then this little mini jack-o'-lantern, also $1 from Target Dollar Spot last year. So I'm gonna put them on top. And then this is just a little spider web fabric. I cut it up into a couple of pieces cause I'm using it in certain areas of my home. So I am gonna go ahead and drape this on, just like that. And then this is an October 31st little sign. I got this from the Target Dollar Spot for $1. And we're just gonna simply drape it over the little corner. So this is what that looks like. So this right is now. what it looks like right now. As you can see, I draped it over the little corner. I have my little witch's boot with a jack-o'-lantern and as well as a witch's hat. I have my Hocus Pocus mug, my little DIY Hocus Pocus wooden books using Dollar Tree products. And again, like, like I said, I'm gonna be linking that video down below and let's finish decorating. Okay, so I have this little black pumpkin. This pumpkin is from also a Target Dollar Spot. Guys, the majority of my stuff is Target Dollar Spot. So this is from the Target Dollar Spot and I'm gonna add it. Just like that. And then this is a little witch's hat and I'm not really feeling this little one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a bigger one right there. And that is also a little DIY. And the way I'm propping it up is I put a little of the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. As you can see and that way it holds it up. And then guys, this is a little mini gnome I made over on my Instagram. And we're gonna put him right here. And then this is a little boo uh, gift tag, I guess it is. Um, and this was from Hobby Lobby. I think it comes in a pack of three right here and then this is also a little DIY the little mini rolling pins I just simply painted it orange with the black right here and that was because I didn't feel like putting any more lettering being that I already have a couple of words going on so just a plain black little um, rolling pin and these are from Hobby Lobby and they come in a pack of three Like that 
and then this little tea towel ladder I DIY'd it myself so I got the little sticks from Hobby Lobby um, it came in a pack of six for $2.99 and I just you know cut them to size and now I am gonna be draping over this little towel this comes in a set of two it's that one and this orange one with the black cat and these are from Target Dollar Spot and I'm simply going to drape it over like that. And then right in front, I'm going to add a little owl. And then I'm going to put my coffee, Ray Dunn coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee canister, and my Ray Dunn sugar canister. So I'm going to put it right there. And this is my little coffee bar. Now let me give you an so overview. This is my little mini coffee area. And I am gonna go ahead and decorate one more area for you since this was a very quick video. I am gonna be decorating um, a little area in my living room. So let's get okay, on. So this that. is the other piece I'm gonna go ahead and decorate for Halloween as well. As you can see, I already went ahead and put some um, black spider web. I have a spider right here. I have a crow right here, which is a metal crow, as you can hear. And um, in some of my squares, I have gone ahead and added some of the black um, spider web just to like fill it in. In some, I have some some moss. Um, so let's go ahead and start decorating this for Halloween. So I have these little skeletons and guys, everything here is old. I've had them for many, many years. Um, the only thing new I have is some pumpkins a friend of mine gave me um, that she made. So um, I'll be showing you those at the end. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and start with these. These are from the 99 cents only store. These were a dollar a piece about two years ago. So I'm gonna add him here. fix that in a minute this is also from the 99 cent store also a couple of years ago I want to say this was about two years ago so I'm gonna add him here I have this little um, pumpkin this is from Dollar Tree they have these every single year and I'm gonna add him right here These little spell books, um, I have two of them. This one says curses, and this one is from Target Dollar Spot last year. Put it right here. <laughs> this is a Target Dollar Spot pumpkin. This one is from this year. This is the only new item that I am adding to this. This is from this year. We're gonna go ahead and put them right there. This one is from Dollar Tree as well. We're gonna, since we have that one right there, we're gonna go ahead and crisscross and we're gonna come this way and we're gonna add it right here. This is another one. These are the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. So this is the see no evil, this is the speak no evil, and that one is the hear no evil. And again, I will be giving you a little overview of what it looks like later. So I'm gonna put that one there, and then we're gonna put this one down here in the moss. And again, like I said, I'm gonna give an overview once I'm done. I have this little witch hat. This one is also from the Target Dollar Spot last year. It was one dollar. Actually, no, I'm gonna put this one with my other spell book. So this is, as you can see, it's cracked, but it's okay. This is um, a spell book, and this was from, this was from the 99 cents only, actually. So that one was also from the 99 cents only. So we're gonna put it there, and then we're gonna add the witch's hat. 
right there. And then this is a little DIY bottle. All I did was flick some paint on here to make it look old. We're gonna put it right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add my little cat. This is also from the 99 cents only store. We have this little green velvet pumpkin. This one is from about three years ago from the Target, or no, two years ago from the Target dollar spot. We're gonna put it right here. And then of course, you can't go wrong with the little black cauldron. Put it right there. This is another one. These are, they were a pack of six for a dollar. And then I have this, this is from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it has a little light. And this one, we're gonna put it next to my curse book. This is a little vintage bottle. This one, I got it from an antique store about a year ago. So we're gonna put it right here. And then a little brass candle holder, also in that same square. And I'm gonna put a little skull right here. And then I have this little doily. And this little doily, I am just gonna add it to the bottom of my little boo canister from Ray Dunn. I took off the top because it doesn't fit with the top. So I am gonna add it right here. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna add the doily next to it. Put my little cauldron and then put my little skeleton. So these are the pumpkins my friend made for me. As you can see, they're super cute. They're very well made. She did an amazing job. And these, I'm just gonna add them to the top. Just like that. And that's it guys. This is my little Halloween, I don't, cubbies, cubbies. So let me show you an overview. So this is what it looks like. I really hope you enjoyed my video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video.